taking a look at another French feature film set in 19th century Africa and kind of based on a true story. This is Zarafa. by slavers who escapes with the help of a family of giraffes. When the mother giraffe is killed, Maki takes it upon himself to look after the young Zarafa. Zarafa is taken by the man who saved Maki from the slaver, Hassan, and as Maki travels with him, he comes to find out that Zarafa is intended as a present to the king of France to try to solicit his aid against the invading Turks. At its heart, this is a story about relationships and growing up and coming of age. Maki's relationship with Hassan develops slowly over the course of the film, and everyone they meet along the way is bursting with personality and charm. It's a story about people and how people react to life and each other. Unfortunately, this film has one big glaring problem, and that is that they made the decision to have the entire thing narrated. And I'm not talking about a simple every once in a while a narrator chimes in. Every. Single. Thing that happens is narrated. It sort of functions like a movie picture book because it's like the whole thing is being read aloud to you while you're watching it. Yes, movie, I know that he took his hat off. I'm watching it. The narration becomes incredibly annoying and tedious after the first five minutes or so, and the movie would have benefited a lot from just leaving it out. The movie is, however, absolutely lovely. The artwork is beautiful and gives great character to every single person. It's expressive, it's colorful, and it feels wonderfully alive and organic. The story comes alive in a lot of the artwork, and the characters especially really know how to tug at your heartstrings. Now, it is a little bit on the slow-paced side. Slice-of-life stories where humanity and relationships are central can be very engaging. But unlike with The Rabbi's Cat, this movie doesn't quite spin a yarn as well, and it is possible to get a little bit bored with the slow movement of events. The thing about this movie is that it really, really feels like a child story. There's a lot of goofy moments that feel a bit out of place, and in general it has kind of a childish vibe that doesn't quite fit with its quiet, contemplative tone. For a serious story about relationships, coming of age, and slavery, I would have done without the goofy pirates and the poop jokes. It's also worth noting that there was some controversy surrounding this film, as it portrays the treatment of Zarafa in France as being mm, pretty poor. Actually, if you would believe this film, all of the animals there were pretty badly mistreated. In response, the Museum d'Histoire Naturelle created a temporary exhibition entitled The True Story of Zarafa to present its own version of history. All in all, I found it to be a charming movie with a few unfortunate flaws. on Facebook and Twitter, and do remember that there is a giveaway coming, so stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!